Rage incident. It's a story Way 3 News reporter Cedra Mayfield has been following, and she joins us now from 6th and Liberty. And Cedra, Donald Hayes is back on the job. Explain this. Yeah, well, his cart is now packed up and gone for the day. Donald Hayes has, in fact, resumed selling hot dogs from this very spot. Now, you may remember Hayes is charged in connection with that late June road rage shooting death of Danny Wilson. Well, his family telling me today they'd much rather see Hayes lodged instead across the street. And so I'm going to set up a $50,000 full cash bond. On Mr. Hayes. One month to the day after a judge raised Donald Hayes' bond from $10,000 to $50,000, the 67 year old hot dog vendor has again set up shop at the corner of 6th and Liberty. From hugs to honks. <laughs> Hayes' downtown popularity. He does have good hot dogs and. It it's well recommended. Evident Friday. Long lunch lines despite this close Friday sign. Hayes did not wish to speak on camera. Nope, nothing. That's it. You want anything to eat? If you want something to eat, I'll serve you. That's it. His patrons, on the other hand, more than willing. There's hot dogs in town on the way. We're glad that he's back out here. Right, laughing, selling hot dogs like nothing has ever happened. Word of Hayes' return is not sitting well with Christy Wilson. My dad's life was taken away, and I feel like his should be taken away in the penitentiary. Still mourning the June 21st murder of her father, Daniel Wilson, allegedly at the hands of Hayes. Wilson says she'd rather see the hot dog vendor lodged across the street. We can't stop him from working. He bonded out. Hayes' attorney agreed and even stopped by the stand himself. While he did not patronize his client's stand, Kevin Glogauer supported Hayes' right to work. I mean, he's, he's got a job he's doing. He's working. Obviously, people are already buying hot dogs. Wilson says it's a tough pill to swallow. We're having to get special prosecutors and, and different things because of him working right there and for him to bond out and continue to work right there to me is is really it's it's a slap in the face of my family. Nonetheless, Wilson says she's confident justice will be served. Now Hayes' case is expected to go to the grand jury August twelfth. Live from Liberty and Six tonight, Cedra Mayfield, Wave Three News. And